What's going on guys? It's OmniArch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be going over my daily gameplay for Rise of Kingdoms. Now real quick, I just want to thank you guys so much for all of the support on my Rise of Kingdoms videos. I've seen a huge jump in views on those specific videos, which has been super, super cool. A lot of people have been reaching out saying like, hey, we want more content, things like that. Um, and I think about two or three people mentioned that they wanted to see more of like how I play daily and like what I do when I log into the game. Um, kind of like how I spend my action points, how I spend my time, how I optimize, things like that. So what I figured would be a good idea is to start playing around reset. So if you look here, um, it's in the top right corner, it is 0049, which means daily reset just happened less than an hour ago. Um, and that's typically when I love to jump on. Um, I would say a big portion of my play time comes for around daily reset and first thing in the morning. Um, and that's just because that's kind of when you have to like reset all of your stuff. But I'm going to go through and uh, kind of just do these daily objectives. I always like to do these right when the when they reset. That way I don't forget to do them later and miss out on the rewards. Because if you look at the last chest here, you do get 100 gems, a gold key. Um, epic commanders are good if you are either free to play or it's a new kingdom and you don't have all of your epics max yet. Um, and then later in the video, we're going to do a little bit of the recharge rewards. This has been going on. You can see I purchased yesterday. Um, and we're going to be talking about that a little bit as well as the Valentine's Day, um, uh, I guess event that's going on right now so usually what i do when i log in i will claim my vip points and i will claim the chest here um and then i will start to do the dailies of course you saw me already collect my um my supply depot uh typically i don't have this is the first time i've ever bought the uh speed ups one um i bought that yesterday for the uh, recharge rewards and I do think it's it was a good value for what I wanted um, and we could talk about that a little bit later so these are the events looks like they added Shadow Legion and Ark whatever um, we did a little a little bit of card King yesterday um, to summon Saladin which I surprisingly didn't have it looks like there's a few things we can collect here for the Valentine's event and again I will go over this a little bit more later um, what is this building power? Oh, that's not really a big deal to me. Maybe I'll do it. I don't know. Um, so the first thing is I want to um, do the well, I'll use my free silver chest um, because that is one of the one of the daily events so we can collect these two and if you guys notice i don't know if, if you're a new player you might not notice but each of these daily events uh daily objectives sorry um is worth a different amount of points so this one's worth five you want to get a cumulative 100 so some of the uh, harder ones are higher points um like doing a, a building or doing a, a technology and things like that so i want to get that to 100 as easy as possible <clears throat> and um as quickly as possible so let's go ahead and refill my material production that's not one of them but i just want to make sure that that doesn't go away next we're going to buy five things from the courier station typically lately i haven't been buying um resources for gems um when i do i only buy the 90 percent off ones but um lately i've had enough resources in my reserves for whatever upgrades i'm looking to do so i've been avoiding them for now um anything that costs um anything that that costs resources i typically buy just because why not i need research speed ups typically if i buy speed ups for gems i go for at least uh 70 off or better but a lot of times i will do the math to compare it to the vip shop so i try to shoot for around 30 to 36 um gems per hour um i don't always hit that but it is what it is so these like i said i'm just collecting these because they're cheap and i want to get that daily objective out of the way um so like for example this one 70 percent off you get 10 hours of speed ups for 360 gems that's 36 gems per hour um the vip shop does sell them in bulk for 30 gems per hour if you buy the eight hour uh eight hour tokens <clears throat> so this isn't as good of value but um it's okay uh, it's close enough and uh, I really do need the speed ups because I'm getting closer to t5 so I'm gonna go ahead and do that 
and it looks like uh, I don't even need that green star so we're not even gonna collect that actually if it brings us if it put nope okay we got it okay cool so there we go we're getting uh, we're on our way here um, training 200 or more units will get you a daily objective uh, for each unit type so um, that's why I usually have it set so that way my um, my train troop training ends around reset so that way I can easily get uh, those rewards so we'll make that blueprint just because it's showing a stupid notification we'll collect all the lovely letters um, all these reports from my gathering earlier next let's go into campaign and we're gonna con collect our expedition rewards so that's cool and then we'll check the shop so this is another place where I love to get value every single day um, again with all of my commanders that are epic and blue maxed um, none of these none of these uh, matter to me um, so that's whatever but this gold star matters this wood matters and this training speed ups matter the rest doesn't so let's do the reset these training speed ups will matter and same with that wood now i've still got 5.9 k left um i'm not going to spend gems here because as you've seen the 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 rewards here aren't that great for me um so i'm going to buy three ethel fled sculptures even though she's maxed for me because that's the best value i can get from there um there's no point in accumulating like insane amounts of points so i might as well get the value from ethel fled and donate them during kvk um, for the past glory event or whatever um, or I can just keep the sculptures and hope there's something else to do with them later so that's that um, next is sunset uh, sunset Canyon just by playing sunset Canyon once per day you'll get the daily objective for it even if you lose um, but I do I have been trying to like kind of perform a little bit better in sunset Canyon lately so um, let's see if we can get an easy win uh, this should be an easy win. Let's see. Um, he actually made it pretty far considering his power level. So I'm kind of surprised with that. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I'm not too worried about it. So we're going to put Richard and Tsao Tsao here because Richard counters Minamoto and Tsao Tsao counters Kusunoki. I'm pretty sure my Kusunoki or my Tsao Tsao is going to just burn through his Kusunoki. So that's why I'm not really worried about him countering my Richard. Um, Scipio is a mixed army. I'm actually going to put my Kusunoki over here. We'll put my actually we'll leave that <clears throat> and we'll put my Sun Tzu actually we're gonna leave that as well I know Sun Tzu is an infantry commander technically um, but I don't have him built that way and um, yeah what is this is this a even mix no it looks like he has more calves so let's put more spearmen um, yeah let's do like that I guess yeah we'll go like that that that's good enough all right let, this shouldn't be too bad this guy he has way less power than me no offense if he's watching um but it you know you kind of i like to check my power first yeah so we got the win um i like to check the power first just because oh is this over oh yeah it looks like we're not accumulating any more events i don't know why there's a number next to it weird um yeah i like to check the power first because uh it gets it lets me know relatively how strong they are in terms of research and technology um because you know even if they have way more troops than me that doesn't really make a difference when it comes to sunset canyon so yeah um commanders are really what matters the most in sunset so i am going to train troops again um but i want to wait a little bit because i want to get a rune and i want to see if somebody does the runes um let's use those research speed ups because why not we already did courier let's go ahead and open some more silver chests now i do oh nice centurion very cool um i do let's see vip shop resets in a while so i don't have to worry about that let's collect some of our alliance gifts it looks like a lot of my alliance members are buying this uh valentine's day bundle so that's really cool and some new world stuff because there is still a i'm pretty sure we're still planning on moving so we'll see nowhere to donate that unfortunately so that's no good but anyway let's go into my items we're going to open up some items here so let's collect all our gems from the from the supply depot and i guess i got had some from like the vip or the yeah my, my the purchases that other people made um i like to use five tokens from the resource 1000 count because of the daily objective that gives you a reward for that and then i open the 12 treasure of the warrior queen or whatever um 
but there is a chance of getting a, a legendary commander sculpture from that it's very rare it's like one in 200 or something like that um but uh you do get silver keys for that which is cool so normally silver keys are completely useless to me they still kind of are i get very little value out of them however one of the daily objectives is opening up i think eight silver chests so i like to just open them every day because again there's no point in really holding on to them um so yeah might as well um let's see what else we can do here uh we have to re refresh our boosts so let's do that i like to use a 24 hour gathering speed up um that boost you're gathering by 50 percent, which is huge you should always have these boosts running whether it's a bunch of eight hours or a, a 24 hour one every single day um they do not stack so you can't use like you know three 24 hour food tokens and get 75 percent uh food production you can only use one um, at a time so keep that in mind don't waste them if you don't have that many um let's uh, claim our daily gift for looser and scrolls very cool we're waiting on week eight so we can open up our gold keys because there may be an, a, a challenge that requires summoning a certain amount of epic or legendaries and uh, we want them to stack with the uh week seven challenges of the same caliber let's go ahead and delete one of our road pieces and we're going to rebuild it and that's actually going to give us um the building daily objective if you guys didn't know so i get 10 points towards my daily uh, objective just by building a little road piece which is cool so a little hack there you guys don't actually have to go and build a whole structure or upgrade a structure um tombs of knowledge we're going to use our tombs of knowledge some players actually like to accumulate tombs of knowledge for a very long time i am not very patient and i want to level up my commanders as fast as possible so i'm just going to use all the tombs of knowledge that i have on charles martel because he is the next commander that i want to get to 60 because i want to use him for city defense for next kvk in case i need to use him hopefully i won't but maybe i will um i should be t5 by then so maybe i don't know we'll see ah excuse me hopefully <clears throat> hopefully i won't need to so next um there's no way that i'm going to finish a technology today i still have so many days 53 days i've been pumping so many uh speed ups into this uh technology and i just there's just i can't i can't seem seem to get it to go down so the next would be barbs barbs are easy to kill um you have to kill five barbarians every day to get the daily objective however um if you kill one barb five times uh that actually counts so let's get my joan of arc she's right next to the alliance mother load which is nice um so she'll get she'll come back pretty quick that'll actually probably give us the gold gathering uh daily event or daily um i keep saying event daily objective sorry so yeah so we're pretty close um i'm gonna put out i'm gonna send out uh, all five of my uh, marches and these marches i have them preset here under the red color and these are the five commanders that i want to level up the most um in order of importance so the one that i want to level up the most is in slot number one with lohar because lohar levels up commanders faster than any other commander in the game if you guys didn't know um lohar is super good at that that's like the main thing that he does um next would be ethel fled if she's maxed and then third would be Boudica, and then fourth would be any other peacekeepers i believe um so yeah so let's use all five armies to kill one barbarian and that's actually going to count as uh, five barbarian kills so if you guys didn't know that that's an important thing to know especially for events and things like that um killing one barbarian with five armies counts as five barbarian kills technically um see i get defeat five barbarian troops on the map really i defeated one but just five armies so really cool um really cool so we finished our daily objectives super super nice um i'm actually going to send joan of arc back to the mother load because i want her to gather as much as possible um that's just the best use for my time right now the next thing i want to do is um, collect all of these very cool um the next thing i want to do is check to see if there's any runes around so this is the point now that i finished my daily objectives typically my alliance will do these guardians around 45. it looks like they haven't so i'm actually going to do guardians right now i didn't think i would have this opportunity because typically they're again they're done at 45 but i think a lot of my alliance members um have actually gone back to my to the regular kingdom uh kvk is over at this point there's no no other fighting going on there's nothing else to do um i'm just here for basically the resource 
nodes on the map um there's just so they're so abundant and i'm just gonna stay here until time is up basically so i'm gonna send all five of my marches to these guardians now i actually had some people i think one or two people mentioned in my beginner's guide video that um when i mentioned guardians and runes it confused them and i had forgotten this is how long ago i started playing i forgot that guardians and runes weren't available for um early game or titles right titles are just non-existent until the center of the map is captured by an alliance so <clears throat> um I, I you know what i think at the beginning of the game i do believe that guardians exist potentially unless there's an event that unveils the crusader camps which i don't think there is um but these just might be too strong for new players to defeat so yeah either way if you guys don't know what guardians are this is what they are they always are around the crusader camps or fortresses or any other holy sites that you see on the map so this is another one right here this is another one right here this is another one right here um off camera if those still aren't taken when i'm done with this video i'm probably gonna go get them and the reason that you want to kill bar barbarian i'm um, sorry guardians is for two reasons um one is they give you a ton of experience like they give you the best experience out of any other regular barbarian on the map or any other pve content that isn't a event so like for example Kurok ceremony is a bit better for experience i believe but um that only comes around once in a while whereas guardians come twice a day so we're gonna kill all these uh, guardians and while we do that we're going to take a look at um so this this is a new thing this pack wasn't available yesterday usually the second day of any holiday event will they will release the pack that gives you um some goodies some resources that you that you can pick what resources you want as well as 10 hours of speed ups um, and then these event items you can convert those into legendary commander sculptures or uh, the permanent theme which is cool and then you also get a little bit of an avatar frame very nice um oh it looks like my uh let's let's help her out here oops why there we go let me make sure that ethel fled isn't <laughs> doing all the work by herself i don't want her to get too injured um because that's a that's a that's a whole hospital bill but my troops are pretty strong so we should be good here um let's see what runes dropped and then i'll finish my thought from before food gathering and wood gathering not really that interesting to me right now i was hoping for a troop training or an experience one would have been really nice because then i could get experience from these guardians but or ecto experience i should say um but yeah buying the holiday packs is usually a great investment if you are spending money in rise of kingdoms um because like i said you get to pick what uh, resource you get and you also can exchange some of the holiday specific items for the gold heads which you can see here or you can get the theme um, it's up to you if the theme is worth it the theme the buffs for the theme change depending on the event so we can look at what this theme offers in uh, just a second so while they kill that guardian we'll collect our heals and we'll take a look at the theme so the theme should be all the way on the end here this is the newest one tears of the eternal you get five percent archer attack and you lose five percent cavalry attack so it's kind of a trade-off um one thing that i should point out is that the um where is it the swans rever rever reverie i probably pronounced that terribly um okay so this actually is a little bit different so you get five percent infantry defense you lose five percent archer health so this is actually this season's lucerne scrolls reward which i will be getting um so now we just have to decide is it worth it to buy for that archer attack and so what i like to do is compare it to all the other city themes that i have that are permanent and make that decision so here we can see this one buffs archer health and you lose cavalry health this one uh infantry again so really i only have one um i have one that actually buffs archers so it might be a decent investment but like at the same time like yes it looks cool and it would it would be the only theme that i have that buffs archer attack however um archers are my weakest unit type by default so it's like i could get that theme or i could get a bunch of gold heads so it's like what's more valuable right so that's something you have to decide i am not really sure what i'm going to do yet um if you have like a maxed isong Ye and you don't have any other themes that buff your attack um, for archers then i would say go for it right like you totally are going to get use out of that especially if you're very active and you're a powerful member of your alliance might really be worth it 
um, but <clears throat> it's up to you it depends on what commanders you have what level you're at things like that <clears throat> um, so let's see now while we kill these guardians we already did our dailies so let's collect some of these rewards that we have in here again I would love to open these gold keys but I am saving them for next week so we're just sitting on seven for right now what is this gathering speed plus 10% I'm gonna gather that just cuz you know that's good that might be the best one that we get who knows um, again I am hoping that we get a troop training rune that's really what we're what we're doing this for um, and that's why I've postponed training my troops right so you saw at the beginning of this video I collected all of my troops that were done training but I didn't start a new training um, yet even though starting a new training as soon as possible is typically the best option if you can get a 10 percent training rune or 15 percent training rune or something like that that's definitely better and as well you can stack the duke kingdom buff which if you guys don't know what uh kingdom i'm um, sorry not duke kingdom buff, the duke uh title buff um if you guys don't know what kingdom titles are um they are essentially special titles that the elite of your um kingdom can give out and it only goes to one person at a time and they have different buffs and maybe i'll make another video about those specifically and how they work um, if you would like to see that video drop a thumbs up on this one and comment down below um but the duke uh title gives you 10 percent uh training speed and so stacking that with the rune will actually make it worth waiting a couple of minutes to see if you get that rune and, and title um and then you can train way more troops um in the same time 25 percent more troops in the same amount of time like that's huge stacking those buffs is crucial so that's why i i've waited a few minutes oh there it is there it is there it is let's go let's go grab him with minamoto um i doubt we're gonna see a 15 percent, but even if we do it's not that big of a deal so let's go ahead and tell our um our the royalty at the time um that we want to uh be duke so as you can see here even scipio is getting 17.4 thousand experience for one kill but ethel fled's getting um uh what 23 Boudicca's getting 21 Lahar's getting 28,000 experience just for that kill so yeah super super useful um so did we get it we got the rune of war drum yes so let's go over here now I'm gonna ask them for Duke hopefully they'll be online and able to give it to me pretty quickly um so let's see what I have here so I have architect saved I don't want architect right now I don't need it um architect is another one so basically what you're seeing here is me saving a special marker that is exactly where my um where my it's an exact coordinate to where i'm located uh, because the royalty in the kingdom have to know your location in order to give you the title so i'm going to share my location with the kingdom and ask for duke and hopefully if they're online um, they can give me Duke pretty quickly so long as nobody else is online and that will give me the 10% um, training buff from Duke as well as the 10% training buff from the rune that I just picked up and now we're training 20% more troops just for waiting what 15 minutes we'll get 20% more troops out of that same troop training which is really cool um, so a little bit of a tip there I always do that every day when when reset comes I will wait to train my troops until guardians are done so that way I can stack a, a potential rune drop with uh, the duke drop and that's how you can get a little bit more troops every single day and if you do that over the course of you know maybe the two months that it takes for um for kvk to come around then you'll have way more troops by the time kvk starts and that's a big deal right that's a big deal 20 percent per day 15 percent per day 25 percent per day again big deal so hopefully they're able to give me duke who knows maybe uh if they don't i just i'll just wait a couple minutes and hope that hope that they're online um, but you can tell if you have a title by tapping on your city and it'll show up right next to your um, logo here and as well you'll see a banner go across the screen that says you know so and so has been promoted to Duke or something like that um, it'd be cool if they dropped a 15% training room no nope, healing okay so let's see did we defeat all of the Guardians I think we did it looks like we did all there are runes left so we're gonna go back to our uh, actually you know what let's kill some barbs while we're here because we um, or let's see hmm well there is a 10 percent rune right there's a 10 for is there a, tw a 10 percent experience rune or am I, i'm making that up i guess i'm making that up all right so let's just go ahead and uh and kill these barbs while we are waiting for our duke title 
um, and this is another huge tip and I do this every single day you want to spend down your action points um, if they're sitting at a thousand then that means you're losing value right if they're maxed out you're losing value because you can be trading those action points for barbarian kills and the barbarians drop resources gems different things and you know they're not the biggest uh reward but again it stacks over time so if you're doing this every single day you're spending all your action po uh, points every single day um you're going to accumulate way more resources and gems passively just from playing the game right so um i always spend my my action points down to zero every time i log in if i go a couple hours without playing i log in i defeat a bunch of barbarians and then i send out my gatherers and it's like rinse and re rinse and repeat right um so that's what we're doing now so now we've spent down all of our action points and you can see um i got a ton of like not only do you get experience but again you get experience uh tomes of knowledge you get some speed up some wood things like that uh, and then also some event items which is cool if there's an event going on you'll get items um, i would save your experience potions for um the Kurok ceremony or Lohar event or maybe even kvk or the pre kvk marauders give you some good good experience so let's heal up our hospital it looks like there's no one online to give me duke unfortunately that's not good um there should be somebody online pretty much all the time to do this but that's okay so let's see here do we have anything else no so let's use another one of our free summons here and see if we get anything probably not um and uh, 10,000 wood uh, food is <clears throat> literally the only useful thing there so it is what it is um the next thing i want to do is go over we're going to purchase um the recharge event bundles but i do want to go over the uh, holiday event because even though even if you're watching this video later um this type of event, event comes back more than once so basically the vow of roses essentially your entire alliance is adding these love letters i guess i guess that's the item um and you're getting teddy bears in return and that's another event item and um the more that you donate the more the level goes up and everybody gets these cool rewards it's just a free bunch of rewards that you get for playing the game so super cool sometimes they do another individual one that's a bit different but um the rewards are typically similar they're usually better for the individual ones but anyway um the moments of love event typically a copy and paste of this exact event happens for pretty much every holiday um christmas new year's uh they do it for i think mother's day they do a spring event they do a chinese new year oh the chinese new year one was i think a little bit different um they do well, halloween so there's all sorts of uh, this, uh, this specific event is is really good so uh this event is way better for for early kingdoms and for free to play because this chest right here you can see i've claimed 22 different achievements or um i guess quests whatever these daily quests are uh for this event for the holiday event so this this whatever this number is at the end of the avail uh, at the end of the timer is how many uh universal epic commander sculptures you're going to get as well as i think 1000 point tombs of knowledge so um you're basically gonna get if you max this out you'll get a hundred universal uh, epic sculptures which is really good in the early game that's really good because you're gonna want to max all your epics so that way they're all available to you and all usable uh, out on the battlefield so that's kind of how i max my epic so fast is that every single holiday event i would max this out or at least get it to like 95 out of 100 because um the 300 barbs takes a little while i'm pretty sure one of these yeah the barb forts take a little while 30 barb forts right you got to kind of coordinate um so that it is what it is right um but you know i would try to do pretty much all of them most of them you'll do just by playing the game every day so not that big of a deal um so definitely do those and then the gift showers is where you exchange the get the items that you got during the vow of roses um and again this is copy and paste for pretty much every holiday so if it's christmas time halloween whatever you're gonna see a very similar um event so just keep that in mind um even though this is for valentine's day this what i'm showing you is still going to be useful for other holidays coming up in the future so if you're watching this video uh, a month from now two months from now just know that an event like this is probably way closer than you think so as we talked about before um there there are some cool rewards in here um you know for me oh it looks like uh it looks like we used an alliance skill so shout out to rk <clears throat> um for me there's really only a couple of things in here that are worth getting right 
if you want if you love to collect items limited time items things like that go for the city theme regardless of if you're going to use it or not some people love to collect things in games like this and i totally understand that so this is a one-time thing you're never going to be able to get this again most likely so yeah i would say go for it um for those of you that only care about city themes if they're useful to you then I would check the buffs like you saw me do before and see if it's worth it if it's something that you want if it's not really useful to you and you don't care about collecting stuff don't waste a hundred roses right because the only way to get roses you get 10 free roses from logging in five days consecutively or you can donate a hundred gems for a single rose or you can buy the bundles here for the specific event it's the only way to get them and so a hundred roses is, is a lot right it's a lot of roses and so it would be kind of a waste because um you could instead trade them for legendary commander sculptures which they're universal you know you're going to use them you know they're hard to come by and so it's up to you right um is the city theme worth it or would you rather just have the legendary commander sculptures it's up to you you may not even if you don't spend money you're probably never going to even get 100 roses anyway and if that's the case then the legendary commander sculptures are your best option if you um if you you know you can only get one right for free you can only get one pretty much uh, maybe two if you really grind out gems maybe three I'd, really you're pushing it at that point it depends on how active you are and if you're collecting gems in the Mac map killing barbs what your gem counter looks like you know basically so the number one thing is is legendary commander sculptures if you don't have enough for that um, I would kind of ignore this right like you know this is like a like who cares about that um it is a limited time thing i guess so like if you're collecting i guess that's useful the seven day one really not that useful really not that useful the gold stars are good but they cost half of a legendary commander sculpture essentially so to me that's not really worth it the sculptures are <clears throat> um more useful to me than stars even though stars are a bottleneck for sure um the gold keys late game are pretty useless if you have nothing else to buy then i guess do that um, and then one rose for a single hour of speed up is not really great value. Um, and again, I wouldn't really be buying the resource packs either. So, um, yeah, that's kind of up to you if, if this stuff is worth it or not. Probably the best option is legendary commander sculptures for the, for the collectaholics, get the two limited time things, I guess. Um, and then if you really need stars, go for those. Otherwise get the gold keys and that's pretty much it. Um, so that's that. Um, there's not really any other events that I want to do right now um card king we could do potentially so let me use this free recruit and then we're gonna go ahead and um and again at this point i'm basically kind of just showing you how i play the game every day my thought process behind things so I'm, i might be a little bit rambling right now but you know i'm just i've had requests for this type of video where i show you guys basically what i do so <clears throat> let's buy this bundle because recharge rewards is happening and i mentioned this before um you have to spend you have to get 2500 gems um, from recharging per day to get the daily chest so you can't spend a ton of gems on day one and get all of them you have to spend 2500 per day um, and they have to either they have to be somewhere on this menu here right if you summon a legendary commander and you see the writer of history five dollar bundle pop up those gems are not going to count because they come in the form of tokens right they come in the form of little gem tokens but these these 1050 those are going to count because it's technically a recharge right um so keep that in mind um the daily special offer counts the supply depot daily gems do not count but they do count for that initial purchase so yesterday i actually renewed my 30 day gem supply and got the seven day speed up supply this is five dollars um that was the first time i ever did that that is a bit controversial i know some people think this is terrible value um when you compare it to other things that cost five dollars like the other thing i was comparing it to is fountain of wisdom really all i need in fountain of wisdom is the speed ups right at this point in time all i need is the speed ups i have tons of resources um saved up now the gems is the same right you get 1050 gems either way whether you buy this or you buy the daily um you see the daily seven day speed up supply but um the fountain of wisdom only gives me about 11.3 hours of speed ups whereas this over the course of seven days will give me about two days of speed ups if i did the math correctly so really what i'm looking for is speed ups now technically for most players fountain of wisdom is a better value right for five dollars it's technically a better value you are giving your alliance a small gift which you know maybe it's like one arrow or a one minute speed up or something um and then you do get half a million food half a million wood some stone some gold all that's 
technically has value right um and then the other thing is the vip points you do get 525 vip points which is technically worth 525 gems so really you are getting more gem value here i guess um but if you're strictly going for speed ups and you're really far away from that next vip level um and 500 vip points isn't really going to be that much um then you really have to decide like what's better right now and since i am so close to t5 and the only thing that's stopping me is the speed ups um i'm kind of trading uh efficiency for just speed ups just speed ups right now so that's kind of my thought process as to why i bought that instead of something like um the uh like the fountain of wisdom for me <clears throat> right but again these this is probably a better a purchase for most players so just keep that in mind um now i could do these dailies but really what i want is is this five dollar bundle so we're going to go ahead and do that um so let's buy that and again this is actually usually a better value than most of the other five dollar packs because you're still getting the gems you're still getting all the other stuff you are getting some limited edition things like that which is cool um and typically you're getting more speed ups more resources resources that you can choose and then you get these um sorry these limited um like uh, the event items which you can trade for sculpts so we're gonna do that we're gonna get the ten dollar bundle as well um because we definitely want the legendary commander sculptures i'm still on the fence on whether or not i'm gonna get the city theme it just depends on um tomorrow i will probably buy the twenty dollar bundle which will instantly hit day three for me i did just get 10 uh legendary commander sculptures which is really really cool um that's like the best thing about this event is that you get those 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 um you get bonus rewards for purchases that you may have already been planning to make um so that's really nice and now we've got uh let's see we have a new little thing here uh nice little flowers around my name so i guess i'll apply that why not um, we paid for it so let's do it and then we also get a little uh little what is this a avatar frame let's see what it looks like it's probably flowers right yeah that's a little bit out there um probably not gonna use that uh i'm actually gonna switch let's switch this back to this one i like this one a lot the capitaline wolf don't know if i pronounced that one right but anyway um let's see here did we ever get duke we never got duke that's crazy so uh, i'm gonna wait a little bit longer for duke because the extra 10 percent is gonna be nice so it is what it is um let's take a look at some of the commanders that i still need to summon and then we'll do some card king how's that sound um so we need constantine uh tamaris and charlemagne those are the three i believe that are that i don't have that are in this card king i don't know is edward in there i feel like i didn't see him but he should be he should be uh no he's not wow okay well hey whatever so there's only three in here and the, the reason that i want to summon them even if i'm not going to use them is because i want to buy that five dollar bundle like and i like to collect the commanders right so let's do that i really out of all these i think um constantine is the best so let's go ahead and do that and i know i am kind of wasting a reset but whatever these rewards are actually really terrible <clears throat> um so let's shuffle that and um do i even want to play this i guess i do so let's just go ahead and do it um we're gonna open all of them so oh my gosh my memory is terrible uh what is is that it no okay that's definitely a match and that we haven't flipped yet okay now we're just gonna reset because all i care about is constantine i did waste uh 600 gems there ah, wait let me see what these are it would be nice to get the speed ups <clears throat> but for s no it's not worth it not worth it let's go ahead and reset um let's see what this is oh also not that great i mean the starlight sculptures i guess um so yeah let's see we're really going for constantine right now um did we already yes yeah, so we got that and uh what was this one okay um ooh. ooh okay now let's see um i'm just gonna probably go for it Wait, didn't i flip the food already yeah okay there's the food and then let's see 
No. Did I? I did. Okay. What's left here? The 10 hours of speed ups. Boom. And is uh, 200,000 experience worth 300 gems? I guess so. Why not, right? Why not? So let's go and see how many sculptures we have of him because really this isn't that great of value. I just want to summon him. So we need four more. So I still have to play a couple more times. Um, and I'm probably not spending these gems very wisely, but it's kind of fun. And uh, I want to summon a new legendary. So yeah. So let's go and reset that and we'll see if we can get kind of lucky here. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Okay. I didn't even check the reward table. Terrible. Probably the worst one so far. Uh, wait, didn't I flip ahead of his? Yeah, boom. Okay, there's that. And... Hmm. So we got the wood. And... We got the key key is the worst one so now we have to decide same question might as well do it right might as well do it so let's see um, how many sculptures are we away now we should be one away maybe or two away I wasn't really keeping track one away so we're one away all we need is one um, we're gonna just do it and let's look at the reward table um, hmm yeah, there's some good speed ups here. I guess I'll play. Why not? Let's see how lucky we can get. The sooner we find him, the better, right? So, okay, there's that. Boom. That's all we need. Um, hmm. So, if we get this eight hour speed up, it's worth it. Ah. Uh, Hmm. So there's that. And there's that. I think that's everything that I want. Gold key's useless. I'm not going to use the Constantine sculpts. So yeah, totally useless there. Don't need it. Um, let's go ahead and summon Constantine. And that's that. We should get the Writer of History. So we're going to buy that as well. Um, very exciting i love the right of history this is my favorite five dollar bundle because you get 10 legendary commander sculptures and 1000 gems and 10 stars and a bunch of experience all stuff that's pretty hard to get just from grinding um so yeah plus you get vip if i'm not mistaken or no no you don't i don't think you do i think all the vip i have is from my other bundles but anyway um let's use all of these for research speed ups because we need that and we have 12 keys now, which is going to be useful for the Lucerne Scrolls. We're not going to open them. We're going to open this. And let's see. Can we put a skill on Richard? That's the next question. The, actually, the real question is, are we ever going to get... Are we ever going to get Duke? Are we ever going to get Duke? The scientists. So they're giving titles. They're giving titles. I'm going to ask again. Um... It's kind of like double posting, but I really want it. So. Actually, I should I should give him a minute, right? I should give him a minute. I'll give him a minute. Hmm. Okay, let's check and see. Can I put a skill on Richard? Because I got a ton of sculptures. 65. We're getting there. We're so close. We're so close. Um, so close to maxing Richard. We need 160. Uh, sculptures to max him so we need 95 more so we should get a decent amount of them from this recharge event um, and we'll get some from the uh, oh am I up is this me there it is Duke uh, plus 10% training speed so let me show you what I do for this right so um, 22 hours and 27 minutes that's exactly what I'm gonna set my siege to so 22 hours, 27 minutes, and you could be a little bit older, over. So 1655, cool. 
the next thing is I usually like to set these the these three for about 12 hours from now actually you know what no I'm gonna go I'm gonna go all the way because typically um, I don't have any buffs going on and so I set them for 12 hours so that way hopefully the the new guardians will drop a rune and then um, I will get those that maybe I'll get a buff then but I do have good buffs so I'm just gonna go for it and <clears throat> let's see I just want to make sure I still have it uh, cool so the the reason that the other reason why you would want to train um, troops in bunches is that when you collect them they have a chance of summoning the mysterious merchant which does have good value however uh, honestly like I'm gonna be at work all day tomorrow I'm probably not gonna have that much time to train in bunches um, so it is what it is I'm just gonna go all the way 1655 and again I'm, I'm lining up this training for tomorrow's reset so that way when I collect them I also get the daily objectives finished so that's the goal plus I have some buffs now I just have to tell my kingdom that I'm done so done thank you uh, <clears throat> and so what, <clears throat> what was I saying before let's look at before I got Duke uh, let's donate here um, let's see we have 60 roses um, plus whatever roses I'm gonna be getting from the days I'm gonna get what four more roses from that plus I'm gonna get um, 40 roses so 44 roses I would technically have enough to get the skin but I'm not really sure it might be better off just going for the legendary commander sculptures because I could probably get <clears throat> what I could get 10 legendary commander sculptures uh, or more depending on if I use gems so yeah it's hard to say I don't think I'm gonna get it because I don't really use archers but you know it is what it is um, I'm gonna have to make that decision off stream or off video sorry um, but with that being said guys now I've spent my action po points I've done all the challenges daily events that I wanted to do and so now I will typically log off and before I do that I will send out my gatherers that way I'm still um, gaining value from <clears throat> my account in some way even when I'm offline my gatherers will be just doing their thing automatically don't have to worry about it so you're gonna watch me send these out and then that will be the end of the video this has been a super super long video I don't even know if I'm gonna edit it or what um, now one other thing um, typically I like to uh, use one slot for a slow build so let me see we do actually have a slow build so let's go ahead and contribute to that and the reason you would want to contribute to a slow build and what a slow build is is, is you're sending one troop you're sending one troop typically a horseman because they're the fastest um, to build this structure and you can see it's gonna take a long time and the reason that you do this is because you actually gain these Alliance credits and you can gain 20,000 per day for building max if you go beyond that it just doesn't count they don't they just don't give it to you um, so uh, the benefit of that is that you can actually buy stuff in the Alliance shop and I have been saving up for these pages because again Think we may be moving there's a very 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 high chance that we are so i'm saving up for these so i want to get those twenty thousand credits every single day to to get as many of those pages as i can because uh they're expensive to buy it's hard to get them right it's like it takes a long time to get them or a lot of money from buying these uh new world bundles so yeah i i just don't want to really spend on these if i don't have to because i don't really like these bundles but it is what it is um so that's how I'm gonna send my five marches I could have optimized Constance and, and Cleopatra more now that I remembered I was gonna do this but it's not that big of a deal I'm not hurting for resources right now so like like I said it's not that crazy um, let's use some of our speed ups here to see where that lands us um, we have a ton of these one hour speed ups let's use a bunch of those I like to keep about a day's worth of our speed ups just I don't know it's just like a thing I do um, I just like to do that so we're 49 days away 49 days away from finishing uh, medical corp 10 it looks like <clears throat> so super close super close we're gonna be doing uh, stirrups next and then plate armor and then t5 yes yes and then right after that we're going for infantry so um, 
super close guys super close i'm what probably actually i'm still a few oh, like probably 200 days <laughs> something like that but i'm gonna speed them up i'm gonna try to speed them up as much as i can with being responsible and reasonable um and yeah so with that being said guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoy this type of video where i kind of just walk you through what i'm doing and why i'm doing it um if you're a veteran player this may have been either boring for you or maybe you were criticizing some of the plays i was doing i don't know um but this is just how i like to play i find enjoyment in doing this um and usually when i play by myself without recording um i like to have headphones in and i love to hear the sound effects of the game the music um i just i love i think they did super super well with with all the sound effects and everything sometimes when it's raining in game you hear the little like the raindrops and stuff so um i it's like more of like a relaxing calming uh, game when I'm when there's no war there's no KBK um, I just log in to do dailies and it's just a nice like peaceful 15 minutes that I spend just kind of managing the account and then like I said I'll log in a couple of every couple of hours to kill barbs and then send out gatherers and that's pretty much it so again if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up comment down below any other questions that you would have for me um, about the game in general anything I will be happy to answer any questions um any future videos you want me to make let me know in the comment section below again thank you for all the support on the rise of kingdom stuff lately um if you're new around here subscribe to the channel uh turn on notifications so you know the next time i upload rise of kingdoms content and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace